Sure. We're going to raffle off all of Doug's worldly possessions. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody does that. cheering. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, Doug is going to give us the uh, art contest for 21. Uh, he's done this in the past. Phenomenal. I love seeing the creativity of the community, the different applications. Uh, really amazing stuff. And then after Doug is done, then the raffle is going to happen. <laughs> So, you, you must not be present, <laughs> well, you can be present to watch you not win, or win, uh, but it's going to be, we'll broadcast the raffle, and uh, good times will ensue. So, Doug, why don't you take it away, my friend? And you don't have to worry about waiting a long time. This is 10 minute Amiga Retrocast, and I never, ever go beyond 10 minutes. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Go. Okay. Hey there, everybody. This is Doug from 10 Minute Amigo Retrocast, coming to you live from Amy West this year, 2021. And uh, having a great time here. Uh, love catching up with all of my friends and making new friends. Absolutely a wonderful time. And I'll have a little uh, presentation in the next week or so, a recap of, of Amy West for everyone who couldn't make it to the show. Um, Today, what I'd like to talk about is my Amiga Art Contest. And I've been hosting that since 2019. When I, I was thinking about, after I started 10 Minute Amiga Retrocast, I was thinking about how I could get people involved in the community again, like, like I wanted them to, get them to use their Amigas and use them for something a little more than just video games, which is honestly what a lot of people used them for. Now, we all know the Commodore Amiga was the computer for the creative mind. We've all seen the advertisements for that, and it's absolutely true. So I thought, well, what if we go out there and, and do a contest like they used to have back in the uh, late 80s and early 90s, like the, the badge killer demo contest and, and that kind of thing, but have it specifically for Amiga-generated artwork. So... What I decided to do was uh, put it out there to the community and uh, look around for someone to help me host the show. I didn't want to just talk for hours on my own but by myself. So uh, I was already friends with uh, Pixel Vixen, and a lot of you out there know exactly who she is. She's in uh, Japan now, and she's kind of shifted her focus a little bit away from Amiga and more towards her manga, but she's still heavy in the Amiga community. And she became my full-time co-host for the art contest. Uh, 2019, we had a great turnout for the contest. We had a lot of people uh, enter their artwork. We, get, we had about you know four or five months for people to, to submit their artwork. And we just got some absolutely beautiful submissions. Uh, in the, uh, we had the hand-drawn category. We had the... Uh, photo category, photo editing category, and we had um, the 3D rendering category. And by far, always our, uh, our most popular category has been hand-drawn in the past. Let me show you a little bit. Um, we're doing the actual Amiga Art Contest 2021 live stream in about two weeks. Vicki and I are going to be doing that. But I am going to be previewing some of the 2021 artwork that's been submitted today, and I hopefully is going to knock your socks off. It's just fantastic. But let's take a look back at some of the work that people have done in the past. And uh, let's take a look at the, the hand-drawn category. And I think you might even uh, recognize some of this. I think right now, most of you can guess who did this before you even read the signature at the bottom of the screen. Eric Schwartz has been an entrant into the art contest since it first came out, and we all know and love his work. I mean, he did Amy the Squirrel back in the day. He did a lot of the artwork for Super Frog back in the day. He was just, just a well-known fixture in the Amiga community, and it just, you know, it, it's like meeting one of your idols when I got my first submission from Eric. I'm like, oh my goodness, he submitted to my art contest. And it was just fantastic. So he put this together for the, uh, for the art contest. And it really says a lot about, uh, about the Amiga and the resurgence back into the world. And he's, he's always been big on that. I mean, according to him, the Amiga's been ready for that resurgence back into the world for the past uh, 25 years. But uh, this time, we really mean it. Um, 
other people who submitted in 2019 that did some fantastic work is uh, Jose and uh, Jojo073 is, uh, is the handle he goes by. He does deluxe paint generally 16 color pictures in 320 by 256 resolution and and he has a YouTube channel uh, you can find him under Jojo 073 um, on his YouTube channel and he actually will take you step by step through the creation of these kind of images I mean just look at the detail look at the detail in the cat look at the detail in the moon I actually printed this up as a uh, 11 by 17 and have it hanging up in the wall of my studio. It, it shows up in most of the episodes of my shows. Just th the kind of work is just incredible. And uh, this is a good friend of ours. This is Amiga Bill. I think most of you at least know who he is. Uh, if you don't, you need to know who Amiga Bill is. Not this Amiga Bill sitting to my left, different Amiga Bill. Um, but, but he did this. It's a combination of a photograph um, and then hand-drawn boing ball, wi and then using, um, oh, what did he use on there? Brilliance, I think, to create that, that shadow, that reflection in the water of the boing ball. And this is the dawn of the Amiga resurging. I mean, you see a pattern here, the re resurgence of the Amiga and the, the dawn. Uh, it's a pretty common pattern. Um, we also uh, went on into the uh, 3D category back in uh, 2019, but we didn't really have many submissions in, in 2019 for the 3D category, but for the photo category, we did. We had quite a few people, um, including the winner of our competition. You're going to see a few pictures from this guy. This is Kevin Saunders. He's from Australia, and uh, I, you know, what I don't know if he knows Amiga Cami, who happens to be in the chat right now. She's also from Australia, two absolutely wonderful Australian Amigans. Now, Kevin did this in extra half-bright mode um, in, uh, I usually uses brilliance, and this was the actual winner of the photo competition. Vicki and I just looked at this, and we're just the, the detail, the creativity, the, the, the expression, just really, really, we really enjoyed it. So he wins. Um, we also did, uh, here's another one from, from uh, Bill. This one is a favorite of many, many, many people. Uh, now, Bill is actually a videographer, a professional videographer. He just won another Emmy Award a couple of weeks ago uh, for his work on Hamilton. And he actually took this picture of Iron Mike Tyson, who, by the way, he says is one of the nicest guys he's ever met. Just absolutely loved Tyson. Then he converted it into a 16-color image. This is 16 shades of gray, took out all the background images, and brought out some of the highlights. And it's just really, really, really impressive that a 1985 Amiga 1000 can display this image in its sleep. Handles it just fine. Absolutely beautiful. And really shows you what the Amiga can do. Now, of course, there's some guy named uh, Douglas Compton who also uh, happens to be a photographer. This was a, an AGA picture. But the actual image of Las Vegas here is, is real. It's converted into AGA, but the actual image is real. That's what it looked like to my naked eye, too. It was unbelievable, the colors and the, 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 just the vibrancy that came out. And, and then I went in and put in the dithered background sky there, uh, created that dithered background sky. So this is an example of the kind of thing that we would do in the, uh, the, the photo category back in 2019. Uh, let's take a look at, we'll stick with 2019, and we'll, uh, no, no, we're going to move up to 2020 now. Um, we had some great submissions in 2020 also, and in that year, we also opened up a new category, which was the mod category, which I'm going to play a little something here in just a minute. But first, under hand-drawn, we got a huge, huge, huge number of submissions in the hand-drawn category in 2020 that really took off. And uh, one of the winners of the category was, was this uh, handsome character right here, who a lot of us think is a, a mix between maybe David Bowie and the Joker, but just such an intense image. And again, this is, this is like a, I think he did this in a 16-color image. Just the fact that you can pull this kind of detail, 
this kind of quality and this kind of emotion out of a computer that's 35 years old and it still can do this kind of imagery today. Just, you know, it knocks my socks off and it knocks a lot of people's socks off. And um, then we've got uh, the actual winner of last year's art competition. This is uh, Roar, Roar Chorum, Chorum, Tor, sorry Roar, I messed up your last name again. But this was, this did not end up in the photographic category. Because what Roar did, and he showed me how he did it, is he just took a still image. This is, of course, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger from The Predator. And he took this actual image and he recreated it pixel by pixel on the Amiga in a 32 color uh, low resolution image and just absolutely incredible amount of detail. And, and tell me you can't look at Arnold's eyes and literally see the emotions and the, and the, and, and the energy and the, the, yeah, the fear <laughs> in his eyes. And he just did such an incredible job. He won uh, best, of, uh, best of show last year. Um, Let's see, we've got a couple other good ones here. This is from my friend uh, Mixel. Uh, he's coming out with a new, Ami a brand new Amiga game. Hopefully it'll be out before the end of the year. Um, and uh, you can find more information about that on uh, Twitter. And uh, he, I think he's got a YouTube channel too. Uh, but uh, he's coming out with a brand new game. This is not an image from the game. We'll take a look at one of those in a few minutes. But again, just the differences in people's ideas of what they can do on the Amiga creating artwork is just phenomenal. You know, how different is this picture from the picture of the Joker, from the picture of Arnold Schwarzenegger, just, and, and all hand-drawn. These are not scans, these are, these are all hand-drawn right on the Amiga. Moving right along, um, my good friend Jojo created another one, and this is a very Amiga-centric picture. <laughs> I think he did a great job on this one, and I actually watched him create this on his YouTube stream. Uh, it was a, a couple of weeks before last year's competition, and I, you know, you watch him, each individual pixel, that, that dithering that you see, he dithers all of that by hand, one dot at a time, he dithers all of that by hand. He just has such a creative mind and such a creative spirit and the fact that he does these in either 16 or 32 colors on the Amiga. These aren't even ham images. Unbelievable. Now moving right along, um, let's take a look at maybe a few little sneak peeks at hand-drawn images from 2021. Um, now I'm not going to do the full uh, 2021 reveals here but I do want to give you guys a little bit of what's going on here. This one I thought was cool. This one that says uh, out of range on the screen, but I think it's showing up okay on YouTube. Yep. Um, this one I thought was really, really clever. Hand-drawn and just the, the expressions and the, the kind of emotion that you get from this, you know, and he's got his I love Commodore Amiga on his tattoo to his fingers. I think I want to do that myself personally. Okay, maybe not. Um, here we've got one, and you'll recognize this. Gee whiz, it's another sunrise from Eric Schwartz. <laughs> and again, the Amiga is seeing the sunrise, and it's coming back to life, as it's been doing for the past 25 years. And uh, Eric, he, he works on several different machines. He uses a Morpho S machine to do some of his work on. He uses his Amiga 4000 Tower which is maxed out with an 060 and, and tons of tons of memory. He's got like 256 or 384 megs of, of RAM in his tower. But he does all of this kind of stuff right on his Amigas, which I think is really, really impressive. Now, this one, this next one that's, that's for the 2021 competition, this one knocks my socks off. This one, um, if this isn't in the top three, I'm going to just, I don't know what I'm going to do. But... The, the, this is an extra half bright, so a 64 color extra half bright image. Um, you know, obviously this is an android after the apocalypse and us humans are all dead. But I think he's having some regrets and he's not sure he wants to be our, you know, robotic overlord. He just seems to have some regrets. 
I also printed this one out on an 8x10 and a 3 by, or a 4x6. It prints out beautifully. You can still see the pixelization, which is part of the charm of some of these modes on the Amiga, is being able to see the individual pixels and yet have enough detail and enough color to really, really make an impressive image. Just fantastic. Now, let's move on to let's look at some photos from 2020 and 2021. Um, oh, this one. I was really impressed with this one. This one was done by Scott Calkins. And you know what? I don't know if Scott is still here in the building today. He may have had to leave on his flight. But uh, this, is, this was done on an Amiga 5000, an X5000. And he did it... Um, want to say in image effects I, I think he did this is actually a like a four color really 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 high resolution image a photograph that he took and then rendered it and changed it and just brought out all this detail even though it's only a four color image the fact that it's in such a high resolution just really really impressed us what a lovely photo this was from last year and uh Amiga Bill is getting a lot of attention here. I hope he's watching the stream. Now, I don't know if you guys are into the Amiga mod scene with the music scene. I'm sure some of you are. But uh, DJ Hoffman has been making uh, Amiga music and other music for uh, years and years now. And he did a, a record uh, a year or so ago. And it was featured on uh, uh, Neil from uh, Retro Man Cave, formerly Retro Man Cave. Um, but uh, they featured uh, this album, this red album. And so Bill took a picture of it and then modified it, took out a lot of the backgrounds out. And then he had both Neil and Hoffman send him signatures, written, printed out signatures, and uh, then scanned them in and sent them to him. And he superimposed those over the album. So it was just a, a cool thing and a, and, and a wonderful thing that the Amiga can do. All right, let's move in right along, and let's take a look at some 2021 photos here. This one is absolutely awesome, and I did not realize until just last week, it was submitted about two weeks ago, until just last week, it's a 16 blinkity blinkin' color image, 16 color. But he did it in such a high-resolution mode, also using... Uh, uh, an Amiga, I believe he had an Amiga 5000 that he did this on, but he did it in such a high resolution that those 16 colors just make it look nearly photographic quality. The detail on her face, I mean, the shards of glass, I mean, how, did, how on earth did he do that? that? Those individual shards of glass with such vibrant detail on it, this, this is a nice image. And here's another cool thing, with the uh, even though a lot of these images, some of these images were created on the Amiga, like the X5000, on the higher end equipment, they work fine on regular Amigas. They send them to me in PNG files, or IFF files, or JPEG files, and my trusty Amiga 1000 can display them just beautifully. This one happens to have an MK2 uh, from individual computers, uh, one of Yen's products in here, so it will handle you know, 320 by 200, all the way up to 1280 by 1024 in full HAM 8 resolutions. So when somebody sends me something like a maybe a 3000 by 2000 pixel image like this was, what I do is I just take it in and I reduce it down to a, a, a format, the highest format that the Amiga 1200 can handle. Like in this case, 1280 by 1024 in 16 colors. And it just, it brings all the details of you know, what he was trying to get across right to us. Um, this one, some guy named Doug did. This one I thought was kind of cool. Um, this is one of my own. This is actually near my home. This is called uh, uh, Agua Caliente. It's a, it's a natural hot spring near my home, maybe 30 minutes away. And, of course, it was a full 15-megapixel picture from my digital camera but I brought it down to 640 by 480 
on my Amiga 1000. This was all done on my Amiga 1000, and I brought it down in 16 color mode. But instead of dithering, like uh, you could, I could have easily added some dithering so the clouds would maybe dither into the sky a little more and dither, and there'd be more dithering and the reflections in the water. I thought, this looks so cool with, without the dithering, with those sharp banded effects. I just thought, you know, that's a really, really clever image for being a 16 color image. And uh, it even picked up the highlight from the sun, the lens flare. If you look in the upper left hand corner, you can see the lens flare from the sun. It, it even picked that up beautifully. I used a combination of uh, art department professional and image effects on this one to get the effects that I was looking for. But that lens flare is real. I didn't add that. And uh, uh, I'm going to save Blondie for later. Okay, this one. This one was from uh, Eric Schwartz. I'd never seen him do uh, one of his photographs before. He's always submitted his hand-drawn or his 3D stuff. But I thought this was really cool. This is apparently Eric's dog who is a hellhound or something like, like that. But <laughs> it was really kind of a cute one, kind of fun. All right, moving right along. We have a new category from uh, just this year. We, we dabbled in it last year, but we didn't go too far into it. We've created an animation category because, of course, the Amiga was so awesome with creating animations uh, from scratch. Deluxe Paint could do it, and we, just, we had so many packages that could handle animation. It was just a natural to, uh, to add that. This one you may recognize because it was in last year's uh, art contest in the 3D category. And what he did is he generated an animation from his 3D still that he originally created. And he created this awesome three-dimensional butterfly just hovering over a flower over rippling water. And I think that is really, really, really impressive. I think he did a great job with that one. Uh, my good friend, Kevin Saunders, who I mentioned before, he also submitted an animation. He has a thing for fish, apparently, as you'll see. But this is really impressive. And this is a color cycling animation, which a lot of us dabbled with in the past. But this man, Kevin Saunders, is an absolute master of the color cycling um, to, to produce what it looks like an actual multi-frame animation. And uh, just so impressive. So <laughs> I like it to fishies. Okay. Now, let's take a look. Let's see if we've missed anything here. We've got our photos. We've got our animations. 3D. 3D really took off in 2020 for us. And I think we're going to visit one of Eric's again because he's Eric Schwartz and he deserves the recognition. This picture, and he's, he's used these images elsewhere, is a reflection of so many different Amigas. We've got the Amiga 1000 on the left, the CD32 below him, and then his kind of the, the ringleader in the front, the Amiga 3000, the young lady there. The junior to the bottom right, an Amiga 600. And we've got a Morph OS machine to the upper right. Uh, look, he's, we've even got a Raspberry Pi in there. And then in the back with the cool uh, uh, Bill Bersari shades on is an actual, uh, looks like a, an X5000, doesn't it? So he's got the entire gamut of Amiga hardware covered here. And just an incredible, incredible job. And this is displayed at, at, on my Amiga 1200. All these are right on my Amiga 1200 at 1280 by 1024 in HAM 8 resolution. And uh, I think you agree the detail is just incredible. OK. Um, this was a fun one. We've all seen these before, these little uh, uh, cradles, uh, cat in the cradle or whatever they're called, the, the balls that bing back, boing back and forth. But look what he's done here with his 3D effects. On the left-hand side, He's got, the, he's got everything in wireframe, which is kind of a cool effect. And then as you move over, it, it gets more and more photorealistic. And of course, we've got the boing ball pattern on the floor, because Amiga. I mean, what else are we going to do? And then uh, 
uh, the, the glass textures, and, and what is that on the right? Maybe almost like a jungle, like a root type texture, and maybe a water texture. Really, really impressive about what the, with what the Amiga can do. Um, and you know, back in the days, you could not get a machine that was affordable that could do this kind of work. You know, you, you want a silicon graphics workstation to do this? Sure, 50, 60, 70 grand, yours. Or your Amiga 500 could do it. Okay, it took a little while to render, but your Amiga 500 could do it, you know, 300, 400 dollars. Amazing. Uh, this is my good friend, Kevin Quattro. Now, Kevin has actually worked on a huge number of television programs. He was, uh, he worked in CSI and the special effects and he's got a, a resume a mile long but he cut his teeth on the Amiga doing 3D renderings for various shows and various presentations. So look up Kevin, I hope I said his name right, I think I said Kevin Saunders, I meant Kevin Quattro, Kevin Quattro. Um, you can look him up on IMDB and he's got quite a history of work that he's done in the in the movie and television industry. And this is one of the ones that, that he did for last year's show. And I would like to be in that room. That looks like a really, really nice place to be. Moving right along. 2021. Here, if you guys have heard, they are re-releasing a reimagining of Babylon 5, hopefully in the next year or so. I don't think they're going to do it on Amigas, unfortunately. I just, I just have this sneaking suspicion that Amigas won't be involved, but they should be. And uh, I was talking to a couple of friends online the other day, and we think that we should get in touch with the people who are doing the new Babylon 5 and ask them if they, politely if they could just pop in maybe like a little cameo of an Amiga, you know, it, on, the, on the, the main deck or something like that, have a computer that's actually, you know, an Amiga 1200 or something like that, just as kind of a, a nod or a tip of the hat to, uh, uh, to the, what the Amiga contributed to the original Babylon 5 back in the day. And it was important. It, they did a, a lot of the work for the pilot on there. And I think some of the uh, future episodes, they, the Amiga was used uh, some in some of the early episodes. But I thought this was a really cool picture. And we've got one more. This is, this is a little different way to look at 3D on the Amiga. We all think of, you know, like ray tracing and things like that. But we, we need to remember there's other things the Amiga could do in 3D that were just equally as interesting. Uh, this gentleman who did this image is, was heavily into geodesic domes back in the day. And so he designed entire communities using these geodesic domes and these forms um, on the Amiga and created them in, oh my goodness, the name of the program he used is slipping my mind. Um, it might have been uh, Imagine that he did this in, but I'll have to look. Um, but I just thought it was interesting because it's different than what we would normally consider a 3D, I'm doing air quotes now, but you guys can't see it, uh, image on the Amiga, but it's no less 3D or no less ray trace than any of the other images. Just a lot of fun. Moving right along here. Now, this year, we've gone and done something a little different. Um, sorry, last year we did something a little different, and we introduced a mod category. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I love me some Hippo Player, I love me some Eagle Player on my Amiga, and listening to some of these fantastic mods that people have created. I think there's probably hundreds of thousands of hours of music that you could listen to just as Amiga mods that have been created over the last 35 years. Some of it just incredible. Um, this one um, is called Drift Angel. This is one of them from last year, and we're going to just sample a little bit of this. And no, Douglas, don't open it in your uh, IFF viewing program because that won't work. You need a mod player, Douglas. A little switch this over here. And Amy West. Uh, it's kind of a weird way that this program does it. There we go. Drift Angel.
watching the show right now the fact that our 1985 Amiga 1000 Paula chip can play that back flawlessly even with a 7 megahertz CPU and you know maybe a little bit of extra fast RAM to load it in but the fact that it can play it back flawlessly is just incredible the quality of the music that the Amiga can generate with her, her little Paula chip to this day astounds me, absolutely floors me to this day. Now, that mod is about six minutes long, so I don't want to play the whole thing, but I think you can get it, it gives you a taste of the kind of quality from last year. Now, I want to introduce you to one of the new mods from this year. This one was, uh, was sent in by BarkBit, who spends a lot of time on the uh, Amigos Discord and uh, in the Amigos community, so maybe BarkBit is listening. This one's called Sky Ripper, and this one absolutely floored me. sent in mods this year. We've got twice as many, maybe even three times as many um, mod submissions this year as we did last year. Just absolutely floors me. Truly, honestly, I will take these and I sometimes listen to them over and over five, six times in a row because I'm, you know, I'm just trying to get a feel for the music uh, because we have to end up judging these things. But then I end up just loving it so much that, that I just can't stop listening to it just one more time. And uh, we've actually got one of the members of, uh, who, who made one of these mods, Creation uh, Gideon, in the uh, chat right now, I see, which is absolutely awesome. Uh, but I'm not going to play your mod. I'm going to save that for the actual live stream. Um, and then uh, we've got some just incredible, incredible contributions uh, from the community. And I really, really appreciate that. So that's a little sample of the work that's coming in 2021 in the next two weeks and also a nice sample of what's been there in the past. You can view all of the 2019 and all of the 2020 artwork on my website AmigaArtwork.com. That's AmigaArtwork.com, all one word. And you can actually go there and look at uh, JPEG images of, of everything that's been done um, over the past couple of years. And then in the next couple of weeks I'll have all the 2021 contributions there. Now, this is not just a, co a competition for fun. There's real live prizes on the line here. Um, our first place winners, people in each category who, who win first place, and this is judged by uh, Pixel Vixen and myself with the help of our patrons and our, 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 in our Patreon community. They help us judge. First place winners all get a $50 gift certificate from our good friend Frank at Retro Rewind. He's got a boatload of Amiga stuff, including Amiga OS 3.2, which we just talked about a while ago on here. 
Um, he's got all kinds of uh, Amiga ROMs. He's got uh, ROM switchers. He's got Commodore 64 stuff, Commodore 128 stuff. $50 gift certificate to the first place winners. Second place winners are good friends at AEON, uh, who I think a lot of you may know who those people are. They're contributing either, at your choice, a copy of Image Effects or a copy of Personal Paint 7.3, either the version for a classic or the version for Amiga OS 4.x. Um, they are graciously contributing that to the second place winners, one winner in each category. There's a grand prize winner. We're going to pick the best of show, just like we did last year. Uh, last year's prize was really cool. It was one of Edu Arana's on Amigas, and Roar won that one, and apparently he loves it. This year, best of show in all of the categories, it could be anybody from any category, is going to get from Amiga Kit, who's one of the sponsors of 2021 Amiga Art Contest, one of their 8 megabyte flash memory devices for the Amiga 1200. This goes into the belly of the Amiga 1200, adds 8, megabyte, 8 megabytes of RAM, but also has flash memory to store almost any kickstart that you want to in there. So if you want to uh, boot up with kickstart 2.05, 3.0, 3.1, 3.2, even 1.3. I even booted Kickstart 1.3 on my Amiga using his. You can use this device to do that. Plus, it gives you the 8 megabytes of RAM. Uh, fully compatible with PCMCA sockets. Just reboot and hold a button down on reboot, and it takes her down to 4 megabytes of RAM. PCMCA still works perfect. So you get that. But are we done? Nay, nay. You also get a fully licensed copy of Amiga OS 3.2. Uh, the full CD, and this was graciously contributed by our good friend Kevin Saunders, uh, who also created the promo for the show. The, he does a lot of my uh, artwork because he's such an awesome guy, and he actually did all the promo artwork for the show, and he's contributing the copy of Amiga OS 3.2 to the grand prize winner. Last but not least, a copy of image effects or personal paint to the grand prize winner. So that grand prize winner wins a cool little package of Amiga stuff, all of it art related or Amiga OS 3.2 related. I think it'll be a lot of fun. Now the deadline for submissions has already been passed. So unless, you know, somebody comes at me with a real convincing sob story, we've already closed the competition for this year. Uh, but Get your drawing tablets and your mice sharpened up for next year's competition because we will be coming back and we will be coming back even bigger than before. So thank you very much. I had a wonderful time at Amy West. Please check out my YouTube channel, uh, youtube.com forward slash 10 Minute Amiga Retrocast. You can find me at 10mark.com. You can find me on Twitter at 10mark1 to get all of the details about when the live stream of the uh, Amiga 2021 art contest is, and we will release the grand prize winners. Again, thank you very much, and have a great day, everyone here at Amy West.